Hey everybody, it's me, Pickin' for Profit, coming to you with another video. Today's video is slightly different. Um, it's not just for my normal subscribers, it's for everyone. So if you're new to the video and this video helps, please hit that thumbs up button, please subscribe, and uh, there'll be plenty more to come. So what's today's video about? Cleaning a dirty old cast iron tub. I was thinking about getting this tub refinished um, by a professional. I've done it in the past on other properties and it cost me about 250 to 300 bucks. I'm thinking this tub because of the shape would be about $250. So I'm going to try to clean it and make it good enough for what I need it for and save $250. So uh, what am I going to use? First, protective gloves. Second, Mr. Clean uh, erasers. Some off-brand oven cleaner, it says compared to Easy Off. And the Magic, awesome. This is an ammonia-free, no acid, no bleach, non-flammable cleaner. I get this at Family Dollar. This whole, uh, I think it's a half gallon, was $3. They also sell spray bottles. Unfortunately for me, they were sold out. Those are a dollar. And paper towel. So let's take a closer look and see how dirty this tub really is. All right, so here's the tub before we start. Just take a closer look at how dirty and grimy this really is. There's everything from old water stains, which are uh, most common. That's probably what you're running into and why you're looking for this video. Uh, but in our case, there's mortar, drywall compound, glue, waterproofing material. There's pretty much a little bit of everything in here because like I said, I was going to reglaze this, so I wasn't worried about it. But hey, let's try to save a few hundred bucks. And uh, there's also some issues like this, which we won't be able to take care of by cleaning it. It's a chip. Um, but we might take care of that in a future video. But for now, we just want to make this clean um, so we can caulk and get this water tight. So let's get started. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously put on gloves. Open up the magic eraser. These things are amazing if you haven't used them even for just home cleaning, try them out, they're really good. Um, and we're gonna start with awesome and oven cleaner. So oven cleaner first. We're just gonna spray the oven cleaner all over the bottom of the tub. All right, so now that that has sat for a couple minutes, we have a bucket of water, add that to your list. And I also found this old nylon bristle scrub brush, which I think will help loosen up the debris. So let's get scrubbing. So as you can see, it is loosening everything up. Uh, we're getting a nice film of dirt and grime. So let's keep going and check back in a couple minutes. All right, so after about five minutes of scrubbing, we got everything loose for the first pass around. So let's get a damp paper towel, uh, wipe it down and see how much more and where we need to uh, put more cleaner. Okay, so for the first pass, I'm just going to use a dry paper towel, wipe everything down, and then go over it with a damp cloth. As you can see, a ton of dirt and grime, which is exactly what we want. All right, so as you can see, once you got it loose, the wipes off, it looks pretty good. There are some more lines, um, so we'll keep wiping down. 
and you can see right here there's still some dry I don't know what it is drywall mud paint uh, there are some rust areas as well which we'll take care of those in a minute hopefully and once we get all the dirt up you can actually see there's a lot more rust and water stains than I imagined so uh, it's been about a month since I've seen this tub in its natural state and I know it was pretty bad so hopefully we can clean this and I'm not just wasting my time hey still watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up for good old elbow grease all right so now that that's all wiped down the first time I'm gonna go ahead and use some awesome uh, like I said if you have a spray bottle it's probably better unfortunately I don't so what I'm gonna do is start on the higher edges and slowly pour it so it goes down into the drain. So let's get started. So if you had a spray bottle, you probably would use way less. Um, for that first one, we used about half a bottle. So definitely buy the spray bottle if your store has one. Now we're gonna take the magic eraser and start scrubbing. One more tool that helps a lot is um, probably like a plastic putty knife. I have this plastic shim I'm gonna use. Definitely recommend using plastic and not metal so you don't add more scratches to your tub. But it helps pry off some of the harder stuck stuff. In my case, drywall mud, uh, the waterproofing material, that sort of thing. knife is definitely a must. Make sure you add that to your arsenal when you're cleaning a tub this dirty.
So unfortunately, this tub is in a little bit worse condition than I remember. Um, it cleaned up pretty good, but as you can see, there's a lot of chips making it uh, the cast iron rust. So this eventually will have to get recoated, I'm sure. Um, but I'm not giving up. I'm using a new dry eraser, and I am going to work on some of these green spots and these rust spots. So let's get cracking. So I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but these magic erasers do magic. I'm sure on a normal tub, it would be perfectly fine. Um, let's just take some of these bluish spots, for an example, and some of these hard water stains. So it takes a little elbow grease. But as you can see, it's gone. So definitely works, uh, just takes a lot of elbow grease, which obviously you came to this video because you're not scared of work. No magic eraser, magic eraser. So let's get scrubbing and make it disappear. So that's pretty amazing in my opinion. All right, so after about an hour of scrubbing, this is what we've came up with. I would say on a scale from one to 10, we took this tub from a zero, being really bad, to a seven, which for me is livable. Um, I will, down the road, reglaze this tub, I believe, but for now, it's perfectly fine. And let's step back and take a look and see how it looks. So, as you can see, huge difference. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys, uh, can save a little money by cleaning your tub instead of getting it reglazed. This one was really, really bad. Hopefully yours at home just has some stains um, and some little marks that the Magic Eraser, the Awesome, and a basic oven cleaner will take care of. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.